Yo, what's going on, guys? See, just back with an episode of Tampa Bay Lightning Franchise Mode. Wow, I didn't mess that up. And we left off, we, well, we kind of just introduced the series. So, without further ado, I went ahead and simulated the preseason. I edited the lines of the minor league so all of our prospects are playing in good spots. And I guess um, we're going to go ahead and follow what I kind of briefly mentioned in the last video. We're not going to make any moves to start the season. Now, I was looking at signing Rick Nash potentially for the third line, but I think we'll be better off maybe waiting for the trade deadline, seeing what's available, because we could spend money on Rick Nash, but if we're doing fine offensively, I might want to look more towards adding a top four right-handed defenseman instead of um, a bottom six forward or a top six forward. Because you know what? At the end of the day... These three guys are going to run our offense, and then we have just depth everywhere else, so we should be fine. Uh, definitely want to maybe get a bottom six guy eventually, but uh, not really in a super big rush for it. Uh, I might switch Matthew Joseph and Ryan Callahan around. Um, but yeah, defensively, I might want to bump out one of Colburn or Girardi, uh, depending on how they do. Um and if it means getting like an 86-87 overall defenseman and bumming down Strawman and just having an absolutely unreal top four, I'm down with that too. But I think we're Gucci until then. So let's go ahead and simulate a little bit. Um, my goal in this video, minimum trade deadline, maximum, let's get the first regular season done with because there's no way we're going to miss the playoffs. I just don't, I, I don't see how that would happen. Injuries are off. I think they're off. Um... So this shouldn't be any issues and or complications. Um, yeah, okay. So the injuries are not off. That's my fault. I have to go. Son of a gun. All right. Well, that's fine. We get the call summing up. Who Who's getting the call? Um, you have medium time potential, right? Yeah, you do. Welcome to the league. Yes, confirm. All right. I got to go turn off injuries. I thought I turned them off in the... Uh, Blah, 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 but I guess I didn't. Uh, here we go. Centers. Ule. Sure. Stop something for fucking Kucherov breaks his neck. Thank you. Hey, we're 2-0. Uh, apparently, injuries are not turned off. I thought I did that already. But I guess not. Um, well, I guess I should consider myself pretty lucky then, because no one got hurt in the preseason. Um, injuries off. Gucci. And then when uh, Kalorn comes back, we'll go ahead and throw him back in the lineup. Um, so I guess what I could go ahead and do, I'll talk to you guys about my plans for the offseason. We'll just, just because, I mean, might as well get that out of the way now. My my ideal offseason would be shedding guys like Kalorn, maybe Johnson. Um, shedding those guys out to open up some cap space. Definitely shedding off a guy like Callahan. Opening up as much cap space as possible. Maybe even trading a guy like JT Miller. And 100% picking up one of those nasty free agents we should be seeing, uh, i.e. Artemi Panarin. Panarin on this team would be dapper. Uh, just the more scoring, the better. Now, I do want to re-sign Anton Strolman because at 84 overall, he's still a solid defender. And he can definitely play in the top four. Uh, a third and a seventh, why, why would I ever even consider that? Why? Just tell me why. Tell me why. Um, 6 one and oh, Not a bad start to the season. When we lost to shit, Cargo, wowza. And we lost to freaking Colorado, but we beat Vegas, and we lost to Arizona. All right. Um, I think the goal should be 55 wins, and I think that's reasonable. Yeah, 55 wins is quite reasonable, I'd say. Uh, around January 1st, I'll stop the simulation, because that's when you're going to start seeing teams throw guys up on the trade block that are pretty solid. Apparently, Ottawa is tearing the league up right now. They beat us twice. 14 goals in two games. Jiminy Christmas. Might want to get a backup 10 d depending on how the other idiot's doing. Um, No. No, I don't want Scott Wilson. I don't. Now, if you want to bring the actor Scott Wilson back to life, yeah, I don't mind that. But I don't want that Scott Wilson. Thawie. Uh, we seem to be giving up a lot of goals. Our goals against us must be pretty darn high. Because we're not doing a good job of shutting down other teams. Now, that could be... Our backup goaltending situation. Definitely not our starting goaltending situation because Vasilevsky is pretty damn sick. Deming, though. Deming, on the other hand, meh. Not really that good. 78 overall. He's not really blowing anybody out of the water. Now, the question would be, you know, 
Am I really going to spend money to bring in a backup goalie? Now, I'm not opposed to bringing in a guy like Alexander Georgiev from the Rangers because Georgiev is 21 years old. He's got medium starter potential, and the Rangers have Chesterkin coming up. So we could steal a guy like him away, and it really wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, yikes. Really not doing that good, though. 19, 12, and 2. I expect it kind of better. I don't want Troy Brower. I appreciate the offer, though. I think he's only like 76 overall, so I'm not really going to give up picks for him. I need to save my picks because... Oh, boy. Got to stop the sim. Yep. I knew that would happen. God dang it. Oh, the Elgato crapped out. One second. B. BRB. All right. Sorry about that. For those of you that are new to my channel, I have an Elgato HD60S. Okay? Phenomenal capture device. However, lately... Uh, maybe because I used it too much or I've had it for too long. It's been about a year now. It has been kind of crappy on me. So occasionally I'll just be recording, doing my thing, and it'll just give me like some green screen like pop-ups. Like it'll just start flashing green. And then um, it'll not record for about 20 seconds and start recording again. Um, so I'll have to stop my voice recording, wait the 20 seconds for the thing to catch up, then stop that recording. And then just put them together. It's it's a complicated process, but it, it happens more and more often lately, and it, it's frustrating and annoying. But I think I I think I got it in time. So if you ever hear me, you ever just see like the video have a weird cut or whatever. That's that's just because the Elgato's crapping out, and I usually announce it out of frustration. So <laughs> so you'll be well aware when it does happen. Anyways, uh, all right. So we're at January first. Stamco. Oh, Jesus Christ Almighty. 52 points in 40 games for Steven Stamkos. Um, yes, I just called him that. Uh, how's Cooch doing? 48 and 40. Okay. All right, so everyone's producing at a decent rate. Decent, if not better, rate. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, let me take a look at the, the, sta the team stats because this is what I'm concerned about. This is where I'm like, yeah, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? Okay. Look at the entire league. Where do we sit? We are eighth in the league. That is not good enough. We need to be number one with the roster we have. Goals four. Per game. We are... Yikes. Okay. Goals against per game. Now, this is where I think we're getting bombed. Oh, yeah. We're getting berated. We are at... We're bottom 10. Good power play. Terrible penalty kill. Jiminy Christmas. Terrible penalty kill. Okay. All right. So... I guess we do need defensemen. Let me see what I could do with our penalty kill lines first. Before I do anything else, uh, who's on our penalty kill? Johnson, Kalorn, Miller, Joseph. Okay, well, there's an issue right there. Matthew Joseph should not be on the penalty kill. Um, how's Braden points defensive stats? Uh, not the greatest. Tyler Johnson's are fine. I'm going to put Paquette. Put Cedric out there. How JT Miller has five-star defense is absolutely beyond me. He has five out of six five-star... What? This game's retarded. Um, and Hedman has four and a half. 93, 93, 93. 87, 84, 87. And, okay, whatever. Whatever, I give up. Um, yeah, Kalorin's defensive stats really aren't that great. What are Kucherov's? Uh, better, but not better enough. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Palat. Uh, and then let's split these two up. See how that works out. PK, I want Johnson, and I want Point. Just give me my best skaters. All right, let's see how that works. Power play, I'm not going to touch. Now, I guess it is January 1st. Let's go, let's go about 15 more days, then we'll take a look at the trade block. We'll see where we're... Uh, We'll see who's available. I just I just want to see an improvement on the PK right now. Because uh, the PK is at 75.7%. Right? Something like that. That's just bad. That's just bad. Ugh. Giving up too many goals. It was a shutout. Damn. And then we just give up three goals. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. All right, there is a nice win, a 5-2. Actually, we'll, we'll go ahead and simulate up to the 16th. Actually, we'll go to the 17th because that's when our next game is after the 15th. All right, can we get a dub? Can we get a dub? Dub, dub, dub. All right. All right, so. 
All right, then. All right, then. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the trade block for each team. See who's available. Because now is about the time where you see players start getting thrown up on the block. And teams start making moves. Sort by overall. Brian Gibbons is he a worthy replacement of... No, he's not. I'd rather keep uh, Ernie at that point. Drommelson... Well, he's got an extension, right? Yeah, I don't want I don't want to take a guy with an extension. I don't want any of these players. Um Zabor, no. Nope. I no. So, no, I'm gonna pass. No, too much money. Too much money. Um Detroit. Nope. Nope. Alright, yeah, this is kind of what I was figuring was going to happen, that Florida would solve plenty of dudes available for us, um, okay, <clears throat> well, Yandel would be absolutely amazing, but we don't really need an offensive defenseman, and honestly, his offensive stats are not that good, surprisingly, I don't know why they're not that good, because he's pretty good, yeah, I don't know why they're that low, uh, well, we're not going to get Yandel, though, because really, I don't really want to take on that salary right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to pass on all of them. Alec Martinez, how many years do you have left? Three years at four mil. Can I really afford this guy? I could. I don't want him, though. I don't want to waste assets on Alec Martinez. So we're going to pass on him. Wow, there's nobody up for grabs. Speaking of Devils, Devils just traded Boyle to uh, to Nashville. Clutter schmuck? No, four years at three and a half million. Right, I forgot the Islanders were smashed. Um, no, don't want none of them. Nope. Definitely not. Not bringing back Goudas either. Uh, nope. Alex Steen, how many years? Three years left, yikes. Uh, if I could get him with half of his salary, that would be pretty dope. Now, Patrick Maroon. Statistically, how is he doing? He's only a minus one. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Um... Not getting that much time on ice, though, at the same time. How does he do? All right, hits for Yikes, that's not that good. He's got more takeaways than he's got giveaways, though, which is surprising. And actually kind of attractive. Maybe we get a guy like Patrick Maroon. See, Maroon would be pretty good, I think. I'm looking at, yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we'll come back to St. Louis. I like Patty. Uh, yeah, there's no way we're getting him. Uh, no, don't want to waste assets on any of those guys. Um, definitely don't want to waste assets on any of these guys. No. No, okay. So I like Patrick Maroon the most. Of everything I saw on the block, I would love Patrick Maroon for our fourth line. Now, let's take a look at Alexander Steen for a second here. Uh, if we got him, if we had him at half of his salary, I wouldn't mind him, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to convince St. Louis to do that. I'm trying to think, Steen on our third line. See, we'd have to dump salary. Because we can't afford both of them. We could definitely afford Maroon by himself. But in order to get Steen, they'd have to eat half of his salary, and we'd have to send back like a Callahan or something. So let's say, theoretically, we wanted Alex Steen too. If I was able to throw Kalorn in this deal. Oh, maybe that would be something we could work out. We got rid of Kalorn and flipped him for Steen. That might be something of interest. Okay, you know what? Right now, let's just go ahead. We're, let's forget Alex Steen. Let's just get Patty Maroon and shore up that fourth line. That's all we really need right now. Uh, what are they interested in? Uh, I don't want to give up too much. Uh, I could just go ahead and trade Adam Ernie for him. and could probably do that straight up because we're not going to use him anymore. We could just go ahead and do it. He's a minus eight. Um, giveaways and takeaways. 30 giveaways, 23. Yeah, so... I think logically I should be moving Adam Ernie. That way I don't think of assets. Actually, we could probably do Ernie for Maroon and a pick. Say like Ernie for Maroon and a third. No. 
What about Ernie from Maroon in a fifth or a six rather? Yeah, that's not a bad deal. That's really not a bad deal. We get a pick out of it and we get a better player. That's fine. That's fine. We're laughing. Yeah, that's an upgrade right there. That's an absolute upgrade on the fourth line. I'm down with that trade. I'm absolutely down with that trade. The guy with good uh, t takeaway to giveaway ratio. Only got him for one year. Not a huge deal. Uh, and we upgraded over uh, the other idiot. So I think right now, how's Callahan doing overall? Giveaway to takeaway, hits and everything. 57 hits, not bad. Seven blocks, kind of wanted more blocks. Uh, Not terrible, I guess. Well, those two are not allowed to do anything with, so. Okay. Um, how's that fourth line doing in general? Minus nine. Uh, let me switch these two around. See if that makes any difference. Okay. We'll make that our only upgrade for now. And then once we get closer to the deadline, we can always make more moves. So, that, I mean, that's not even a lateral move. I mean, we, got, we made our fourth line four overall better than it was before by putting Maroon in uh, Ernie's place. Um, let's go up to February... 10th and see if there's anything else we could do Lip and odd <laughs> you okay true one of my decent prospects and a pick for a guy that's like 79 overall get out no all right supposed to be looking for a backup goalie just in case uh, i'm not really in the mood for that right now i don't really think there's gonna be many backup goalies out there for grabs uh no absolutely not absolutely not um, no, I don't want Jonathan Erickson. Um, no, I don't want UC Jokin. He's useless on this team. Now, 10 years ago, maybe. 10 years ago, yeah, I'd take him. Right now, no. No. Uh, apparently that Pittsburgh game didn't count. No one won or lost that game. I'm going to go in as a tie. Gior oh, Jesus Christmas. Kachuk, a second, and Lapanov for Bolesky, Clinton. No. No. You had me at Georgie having a second, but Clay Sonobleski, hell no. Hell to the no. I ain't having that shit. We gotta get more dubs, though. We're not really doing a good job of winning games. Um, see if the trade blocks change. I mean, it looks like the trade blocks change a wee bit there, lad. Uh, it's nice. 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 69 points. Um... Now right, we have two point six nine in cap. We could get a minor player, like a you know another depth guy, like Maroon. Oopsie daisies, and there goes my dog. She wants to bark now, so she's gonna bark. Uh no, this really hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. No, definitely don't want any of them. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna go after Alex Steen. I'm not. Uh oh, this changed a little bit now. Nah, those are rookies. We don't need rookies. The Rangers are selling a little bit more. Not really what I'm looking for, though. Not from any of those guys. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything real. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, Martinez. They don't want Martinez. Uh, Brass Hoffman. Hoffman. Mike Hassel Hoffman. He doesn't have an extension in place, does he? he got two years left. Nah, I don't want that. I don't want or need that. Gus Nyquist. Ooh. Tell me Gustav Nyquist wouldn't be a sick fit on this team. One year left, 84 overall, he absolutely wheels. Ugh. I'm thinking, yeah, I, I like Gus Nyquist. How's he scoring? Is that 41 points in 55 games on a pretty shite team? 14 power play points. He's got 10 power play assists. Pretty good faceoff percentage, too. Giveaways and takeaways really aren't that great. Um, I'm actually highly interested in this. Yes, I am definitely interested in that. Gus Nyquist. He would be sick on this team. He would be unreal. And he's one year UFA. Okay. We're going to come back to Gus. Gus Bus. Uh, no, I don't want Cogs. I don't really want any of them. Ooh. Ah, five years left. No, no, no. I forgot about that. No, that would have been good if he didn't have five years left. Though you had me thinking for a sec. Oh, Zedano. 
So plenty of defensemen available, it would appear. But I think... Because <sighs> then who comes out of the lineup? Well, tell you what. Let me see if I could do a Kalorn. Are they interested in Kalorn? If we could do a Kalorn Nyquist swap of some sort, yeah, I'm freaking down. I am 150% down. He actually hits a lot, which I'm expecting. Give actually, no, no, no. I'm not trading Kalorn. Look at those takeaways to giveaways. Hell no. Kalorn's playing too good right now. Uh, JT Miller. I'd do a flip like that. I'd definitely be interested in that. Um. Hmm. What's his contract? Five years at 525. Five. That could be something I'm interested in. Yanni Gord. What does his extension look like? Use Yanni Gord and upgrade him to Gus Nyquist. Now, I kind of like Gord better. Palat. No, I'm definitely not trading Andre Palat. He's doing way too well on that top line. Um, hmm. Suppose it's a good dilemma to have. Well, I should be trying to get rid of Yanni Ruta because Ruta I could actually get an asset for. Callahan. They're interested in Callahan for some reason. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you Callahan. Because for some reason you're interested in the guy. I want Nyquist in return. Alright. Uh now I'd imagine you want picks and something else in return. Okay, well, I don't have my second round pick. The Rangers have that. Rookie skaters. For some are you not interested in rookie skaters? You are. I'm not trading you Chernak because he's going to be in the league next year. Matthew Joseph. How's he hasn't really been doing that great in the league, has he? Yeah, he's a minus nine. I could always just call somebody up. Well, you know what? No, let's just throw in the first round pick because they're going to want a first. So Callahan and a first for Nyquist. Would that go through? Right, so they don't want the contract of Ryan Callahan. I kind of figured in for that. What if I retained $300,000? All right. Because we can get rid of Callahan. I'm going to get rid of Callahan. I'll retain 1.3. I'll bring him to a $4.5 million player. Ooh. All right, one second. Let's go team by team and see if I can find anyone that'll just take on the full contract with Callahan without an issue. I guarantee you someone out there would do it. Someone out there who's absolutely wild. Nashville, Nashville. You, are you wild? Do you want to get wild? Six round pick for Callahan. Ah, next year, right. I'm not trading to Philly. Josie's on a vacation far away. Would you do this? So, what if I took a 7th instead? And gave you a 4th. Alright, yeah, okay. So, it's just... Um, Vegas? No, I have to take a contract back. There's no way I'm getting a contract. Uh, let's see. 6 round pick. Yeah, it's the same thing. They just don't want to. I don't blame them. I mean, it makes sense. I actually kind of like how they have new messages for every time they, you know, want to do something like that. Uh, seventh round pick from Buffalo. Sent to his hometown. How much? How much do I got to retain on Callahan to make you take him? And what are you interested in? Because I could, I could, I could sell you something too. If I attached Matthew Joseph to Callahan, would you take on his whole contract? 
No. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to have to retain salary on Callahan. And I'm okay with that. I'm at peace with that. We'll start with 800000 Better this than buying him out. Yes, okay, good. So we just opened up $3.8 million in cap space. I'm at peace with that. I'm okay. That That's a lot of money, especially going into next year's free agency. And not, if we would have bought out Callahan next year, that's a two-year buyout. All right, so that's like basically having Callahan for three years from right now. So, yeah, I'm okay. Obviously, we're not done. We're not done, okay? We're just, we're just, we're moving around pieces. Now when we go back to Detroit, we could literally afford Gus Nyquist, I'm pretty sure, without having to retain any salary. For some reason, we don't, actually. Never mind. I'm a, I'm a fat liar. Somehow, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm not trading Kalorn, because Kalorn's just doing way too well. Well, throwing Jan Ruta. Say Ruta and a first. And I could probably get like a third round pick back. Ruta and a first for Nyquist, a third, a fourth, and a fifth for next year. Good deal? Beautiful. 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 Opened up cap space, brought in Gus Nyquist, got rid of a minor league player we were not going to use. Um,. Best lines in the minors. It's not a huge deal. In the league, we're going to scratch Bari Boulay. We're going to put in Gus. Because Gus actually has decent defensive stats. Believe it or not, his shot blocking is pretty ass. But everything else is pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead. How is this second line doing? Okay. We're going to give Gus the bump. We're going to do that. Okay. That's just more scoring on that second line. And more speed. Uh, okay. I definitely, I definitely like the looks of that. I like that a lot. Okay. That's perfect. That's so much better. That's so much better. Okay, good. Good. That's all I really wanted to do. I'm, I'm pretty content with the way this team looks right now. Uh, all right. Let's simulate and see how we do with the uh, new team. With brand new Gus Nyquist, Callahan is gone. We have cap space. We are happy. How are we doing? Are we scoring more goals? Yay or nay? Give me that. Give me that. No, we're just going to take a half hour to simulate. Just gonna sit there we go. We got a sim done. Oh, a trade off for Georgiev. No. no. I'm not trading Boris Kachuk. I say that. Nah, I'm not trading Boris Kachuk. 8-3 win against Florida. Um, uh, no, I don't want Tim Schaller or Luke Shen. I actually want neither of them. No, I want neither of them. These trade offers are getting worse and worse. There we go, another dub. Dang it. 2-2 two two since the trade. Lepanov or Roussel? No. one nothing loss? Ew! Not even in overtime, that's disgusting. Get out! Oh, come on, really? Now we're just taking fat L's. No, I don't want Cam Ward. Okay? I don't want him or his cap hit. There's a win. Stop trying to trip me Bolesky because I don't want him. We might need to make another deal. We might need to wheel and deal one more time. All right, we'll do one last look around the league and see what's available. One last look, just because... Perhaps a defenseman isn't out of the question. Or a backup goalie. I'm leaning towards a defenseman, though. So maybe we'll revisit the whole Alec Martinez situation. Mm, no, I don't want any of them. But, yeah, this is like the last day to see players in the block. So, <gasps> ooh. No, 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 no. I want him. I want him, but we're not going to get him. Uh, nope. Nope. Everyone's on the block now. See, this is where you see everyone just go up on a Tuesday. Uh, 
Wait, what? How the fuck did they get Tavo Teravainen? Was there a big trade I missed? All right, we got to look at the trade in a minute because for some reason they have Tavo Teravainen. Um, I don't know how the hell that happened. For some reason they want to trade him. Um, mm, yeah, I can't really get any of these guys. There's no one really available. Outside of Alec Martinez, there's not really anybody in our within our reach that we could acquire without giving up stupid assets. All right, so let's let's talk to LA and let's let's just take a gander at Alec Martinez. All right, tw play, playing 25 minutes a game too on a pretty shit team. Um, damn, that's a lot of minutes. 25 at night. Um, all right, hits, blocks, giveaways, takeaways. Actually, not that bad at all. Not really a lot of blocks though. I was kind of hoping to see more blocks. Was he? Oh wait, why does he? He only has twenty five games played. Oh, he must have gotten like a massive injury at the beginning of the year, and I just didn't notice. Okay, yeah, that's not terrible at all. So if I put him on the block, I'd probably I'd send Coburn or Girardi back their way just for money money purposes. Who is doing better? All right, so Girardi is even. You got six helpers. Um, blocks, 69 hits, 45 blocks, 52 giveaways. Ooh, 52 giveaways. Okay. Colburn is a minus four. 65 giveaways, 61 hits, 52 blocks. 61, 52. Yeah, Colburn has 65 giveaways. Okay. So Colburn would be the guy, would be the guy that I said back, um, to make the money's, money's work. Um, now with that, we could probably just give up prospects. We don't have to give up players. I don't really want to trade Connor Ingram because he's our only goal setting prospect. Uh, my dog is still barking. Uh, definitely not trading Calfoot because that's our best trade asset. Not trading Volkov. I would trade one of these two. I'd probably trade Taylor Radish. Who does? Yeah, I'll trade Taylor Radish. Okay. With that, I'll take back your shittiest player available. Devin Setaguchi. Because apparently he's still in the league. And we could probably get a pick back. Or two or three. My dog is still howling down there. I'll take a second round pick. No, okay. My dog is still barking down there. I'll take a third. I'll take your third and another one two years from now. Just your third this year. So Radish Coburn for Martinez Setaguchi, a third. Give me a fifth or something. Make it worth my while. Just a bit low. So if you're saying if I threw in a St. Louis's sixth, we're good? Good. Okay. That's fine. That's a good trade. All right, um, edit lines. Uh, defensively, boom, throw in Alec Martinez. Beautiful, great. So now we're a little bit even, we're just depthier on defense now. We just have a little more, a little more wiggle room. And I am, I'm feeling pretty good about this team right about now. Best lines in the minor leagues. Okay, that is fine. That's fine by me. And you know, not for nothing, like I said, we could always... At the draft, we could flip more guys. We could flip guys like Martinez for a late first. Or we could flip Nyquist. We could sign him to an extension and flip him for a first. There's a lot of things we could do to get picks and replenish our prospect system. Because you know, I'm, I'm a wild man when it comes to trading players. Uh, but I like the way our team looks now. We have a pretty good makeup. Uh, picking up Nyquist. Uh, we've got Nyquist, Martinez, and what's his name? Patty Maroon. I think we're pretty solid. Now. I think we're pretty set in stone. And we're in its show, and after those, after those trades, look at these. Look, 8 nothing win against freaking Toronto, the leader in the Eastern Conference, I think. There we go. Now the wins are rolling, and those are some good moves. Those are some good moves. All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling good now. Now I'm feeling pretty good about this team. Now I think we're going to go into the playoffs, and we won't be upset. 
We should, I mean, on paper, we should go all the way. There's, there's no one that should beat us in the playoffs. I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. There's only one team in the league that has a better decor than us, and it's Nashville. And that's even pushing it, because I think we might have a better decor than Nashville. Uh, I said I wanted 55 wins. I'll settle with 50. I'll settle with 50. Um, but next time around, we better get 55. Especially when we get those upgrades. All right, so we got Philadelphia in the first round. The Flyers versus the Lightning in the first round of the playoffs. All right. Did not expect to see the Flyers making the playoffs, especially with my roster update, what I did to them. I, I, I uh, gave them some serious downgrades, is what we'll call them. All right, so we'll go over the stats. We'll wrap up the season. I, I did what I wanted to do. I got through the entire season. Got you guys a nice long video. Um, first and foremost, let's take a look at the team standings because it's more important right now. All right, so did we win the Presidents? No. We actually... All right, so third in the league is not bad. Apparently, Minnesota went off. 50 wins, that's second most. Uh, row... Yeah, wow. Second in the league in row. Goals for. Second in the league. Good. Goals against. All right, look at that. Look how much better that is from before. 204. Hells yeah. Power play. Ooh, 20%. That was a serious drop-off. Okay. Uh, penalty kill percentage. Did we improve? We improved. How much did we improve? Where are we at? All right, we improved like 5%. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, ooh, look at that. Kucherov, 95 points. Damn. Nikita Kucherov, a 95-point season. Hell yes. All right. Uh, Stammer, 40 goals, 94 points. This is Holy shit, that's the first 90-point season in almost a decade. Good for you, Steven. Uh, point, good season. Palak, good season. Nyquist, I don't know how he did since the deadline, but that's a pretty good season. Look at all these 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20-plus goal scorers. Hebden, 47 points. Miller, 39. Maroon and finished with 30 points. Sergeyev, 30. Kalorn, 25. Matthew Joseph, 24 points. That's a quietly good season. Um, uh, perfect. Okay. Um, and, and net, how do we do? Yeah, I probably should have gotten, I probably should have gotten a better backup goalie. Uh, Deming, eight and nine. That's a really bad season. Anyways, um, take a look at the entire league. Where do we sit? All right. Ovechkin, 67 goals for, Jesus, the great eight. Okay. Uh, Kucherov was second in points. Sam Post was third. Kuzi was four. Okay. Uh, McDavid's up there. Goals four or goals... 160 goal score, a bunch of 40s. Assist, who was the setup man of the year? Kuzi, of course. And RNH, wow, look at you, 70 helpers. Um, all right, take a look at the playoff tree, and then we are going to call it a video. So, here's what we got you got Lose a Pick versus Dallas, you got Minnesota versus St. Louis, San Jose versus the Anaheim Ducks, Calgary versus Nashville, Columbus Blue Jackets versus the Washington Capitals, Pittsburgh versus Ottawa. Wow. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Montreal Canadiens. And your Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Philadelphia Flyers. So, thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching because I shouldn't make it an end. If you understood everything I just said, you do not need hearing aids. Congratulations. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.